Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us for Meditating on the Word. Back in the Gospel of Mark, which I think I'm going to be turning to uh, until we complete this Gospel in a month or two. I, I did a sermon series uh, and a small group series uh, going back uh, nine months or so. And uh, I just am feeling called to get back to it because we never finished it. So I'm uh, in the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10. Mark, chapter 10. Uh, let's read verses 14 and 15. Mark, chapter 10, verses 14 to 15. I will read the verses, and uh, then we'll meditate for 30 seconds and share a word or phrase that is speaking to us. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant, and he said to the disciples, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. But when Jesus saw the disciples uh, stopping the little children, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Now let's meditate silently. phrase that's speaking to me is receive the kingdom God receive the kingdom of God like a little child receive the kingdom like a little child if you would be willing to share the the word or phrase that's speaking to you I would appreciate it now I'm going to read it again and uh, we'll meditate contemplate for another 30 seconds and uh, allow that word or phrase to speak to our our circumstances but when Jesus saw this the disciples stopping the children, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. So I've thought a lot about this passage uh, over the years, and there's a lot that I could say about it, but one thing that's hitting me today is the naivete of little children, their innocence, their lack of knowledge, um, their openness to believing what they are told. And uh, I think that as we grow in mind, body, and spirit, uh, that one thing that ends up happening is um, a recognition of uh, the falsehood in the world, the recognition of the dark side, um, 
of humanity, the coercion, the manipulation of the truth, the um, willingness to use others and deceive them, all of this leads to a kind of uh, skepticism and uh, a desire to have things proven, especially in the modern world. And so today this passage reminds me that when it comes to, I think, the central things that make life worth living and which further humanity and um, progress our world, that there is a sort of profound um, need to be naive and innocent and simply trust. Uh, simply trust that um, God is real and that the, the, the things of the kingdom of heaven, um, the deepest things in life, are realities. Uh, and uh, um, trusting in love and justice and peace and truth and mercy, uh, then we are willing to move forward in all of those things. These are things that either are real and are worth committing your life to, and the way you receive kingdom life is by committing to the kingdom and everything that it represents, or they are not. And uh, um, really believing that they are um, alive and real and, and calling us and uh, working around us all the time, um, this, it, this involves, a, there's no way we can prove it. You can't prove something that is not substantial, that is not of substance. Uh, something that is immaterial, invisible, you can't prove its existence. And so um, it involves this sort of childlike willingness to simply believe what God has revealed. So thank you for, I just shared for five minutes, a little mini sermon. Um, if you would share a couple, three sentences, I would love to hear from you. Now I'm going to read the passage again and we'll conclude with a prayer. But when Jesus saw the disciples stopping the little children, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Thank you, Father, for this amazing word that we must become like the little ones in order to fully enter into uh, kingdom life. And we thank you for the children in our lives and how they are an example to us. Um, we see uh, the little ones gathering on Wednesdays for an hour to, to study your word and share fellowship. The older ones, the youth, middle and high school students gather on Tuesdays to do the same. And they are an example to us, Lord. They gather joyfully, uh, lovingly, uh, with an open heart and mind, wanting to learn more about you and, and uh, believe and, and uh, come to a full life uh, as they understand who you are and, and who they are. Um, something that is a continual development, Lord. So help us to always remember 
that we need to be open to, to learning about you, the wondrous creator of all who's beyond all of our ways and thoughts. Uh, help us to remember that we too are constantly growing uh, and called to be more and more like Jesus, who is a great mystery. Uh, and we have the ability to, to learn ourselves, learn about ourselves more uh, and uh, grow as individuals. So keep us curious, Lord, about you and curious about ourselves and how you are at work in our lives. Uh, and help us, O oh Lord, to, to simply um, give ourselves over to those foundational um, matters of creation and humanity and a purposeful life. Uh, we can do one of two things. We can be adult-like, skeptical, doubtful, um, uh, and uh, cynical, or we can be like children, uh, trusting that uh, the truth and justice and goodness and love uh, are uh, the wondrous things that uh, are calling and moving us. Um, open us up, O oh Lord, to you. You are those things, uh, and your Holy Spirit is constantly with us. Uh, so speak to our hearts and minds and bless us with the gift of faith that we might uh, enter fully into kingdom life and bless others, inviting them to do the same. We take a moment now to lift up to you particular people and places on our hearts and minds in need of your help. Bernice, Min, Jean Marie, Rachel, thank you, Father, for receiving us. Um, when it comes to you and your majesty, uh, we are all naive. There's so much that we don't know. And so help us to learn to trust and trusting move forward in understanding. We ask it through the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, God bless and keep you. And just give me a holler if there's anything I can do for you. <laughs>